Dearly beloved, we are here today to talk about how to live stream a wedding. Cue the music. Hey there, I'm Kevin Colby, and we're talking about how you can live stream a wedding. Because let's say you've got a wedding coming up and everybody can't be there, that's okay. We're gonna share the simple things to think about so when you live stream it, everybody can enjoy it anywhere on the World Wide Web. Let's jump into it. So believe it or not, the first thing you want to start with is where do you want the wedding to be live streamed to? So for example, you could do YouTube. Now the advantage to YouTube is you can set it up in advance and if you don't want everybody to see it, you make the link unlisted and then you share that with people and the only people that can see it are the people who have the link. Another option is to make a Facebook group. Now, again, the advantage there is you can send out the invite, you can make the group private and only people who have the link can see it. Another advantage to a Facebook group is you could start it ahead of the wedding and have people leave like comments and, you know, and accolades for the bride and the groom and, and really kind of build it up to an event to the day of the wedding. So let's talk about the gear you'll need, like a camera. Now, if you don't have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, which will give you the best video quality, in fact, that's what I would recommend, or maybe like a camcorder, use your iPhone and it will look great. Now you may be a little bit more limited with the iPhone, so you need to think about camera placement. Like where will you put the camera so it's maybe not in the way of somebody, but at the same time, you can get a great shot of the, the bride and the groom and whoever's officiating. Think about the camera you're gonna use and then think about the camera placement so you can get the best shot for the people watching at home or wherever they're watching on the World Wide Web. So now let's talk about audio because they need to be able to hear it just like they need to be able to see it. The best audio you can get would be a lavalier mic or like a wireless mic, like what I'm shooting this with. And then that way you could plug it into the camera or a soundboard or something like that and bring the sound to it. If you only have one mic, what I would recommend is putting it on whoever's officiating it. And that way you can hear that person and probably pick up the bride and the groom as well. So think about the audio and how you're gonna mic some one so whoever's watching it on the internet can hear it. Okay, something else is really important to think about, batteries. If you have like a power bank, let's say you're using your iPhone as a camera, and if you've got an extra power bank or a charger, take that along because when you're shooting video and you're live streaming, it will really eat through your battery faster. Now, if you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, again, you want to have a lot of extra batteries. What I would suggest is anything you can charge up, charge up at least the day before, and that way you should be set, but you also want to have extra batteries. So if you're even using something with like a double A or nine volt or something like that, bring a lot of extra batteries just so right in the middle of it, it doesn't go like <laughs> Now let's talk about the signal, as in like the Wi-Fi. So wherever you do your wedding, make sure in advance that they have Wi-Fi and if you can tap into it. Now maybe they have a, a private network you can get into. Do you need a password? So think about that, test it in advance. Now keep in mind if there's a lot of people that are gonna be at the wedding, everybody's hitting the Wi-Fi, so that could be an issue. So other things to do is could you go hardwired in or maybe even a hotspot if you're using your phone or something like that. But think in advance of what the Wi-Fi and the signal will be so you can live stream it. All right, so now let's talk about StreamYard like using StreamYard to live stream your wedding. See, here's where it gets really cool. So whatever gear you use, you can use StreamYard. So you can actually go to a YouTube channel like we talked about earlier or a Facebook group, or you could do both at the same time. Again, that's the beauty of StreamYard. So when you're live streaming it, think about StreamYard and here's a bonus. When you're done live streaming, there's automatically a copy that's recorded in the cloud. So now you've even got a copy of your wedding that you can share with people. Okay, and so this is the last thing you wanna do, but it's really just as important. You wanna do a test run. If you can get there early, I mean, if you go the day before, that's phenomenal. But if you get there earlier that day, get everything set up, then do a test stream to wherever you're streaming to, watch it back just to see, do the camera angles work? Can you hear everything? Is the Wi-Fi okay? But by doing that, you'll probably ensure a better live streaming. Ready? One, two, three. So there you go. 
everything you need to think about to live stream your wedding to whoever wants to watch it anywhere in the World Wide Web. And if you follow these steps, they're going to help you have the best possible wedding ceremony on the internet. Hey, if you like this, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up for a lot more videos about how to get the most out of live streaming, especially with StreamYard. All right, I got to go press my tux shirt. I'll, I'll see you in the next video.